been that long though since I made my last video. I've actually been doing a little bit better here and there, getting my videos up a little closer together. So welcome to my nursery if you're new. Welcome back to those of you who are already subscribed. And so thanks for tuning in. So tonight, as you can see, I have two babies. See if this will turn for me. All of a sudden, my tripod is so tight, like it doesn't want to turn. Usually, it won't stop moving. Now, it doesn't want to move. I don't know. I think I need a new tripod. But I have two babies on the changing table. So we got to see if we can get both of these babies changed. I don't want to make the video super long. So we're going to see how we do. So these are my Bonnie Brown babies tonight. I have two Bonnie Brown babies in my collection. And I've had many other Bonnie Brown babies that I've painted for myself, that I've bought from others that were painted by other artists. But strangely enough, I've sold them all and I only have these two out of all of the Bonnie Brown babies I've had. And I love Bonnie Brown babies. That's the strangest thing, but I never seem to hold on to them. Knock on wood. These are the two that so far I have managed to hold. I love the Laura. And I definitely love Levi by Bonnie Brown. And these two were both painted and rooted by me. So these are both my creations. They, as I'm looking at them in the camera together, their, um, their skin tones, I'm reading a message, sorry guys. Their skin tones look kind of similar to each other, which I didn't notice that like when they're in the nursery and they're in their separate spaces and not close together, I never actually noticed that they are actually a little similar in their skin tones. Not exact, but very similar. That's that's something new I discovered. You see, if you don't put your babies next to each other, there's things about them you wouldn't even notice it. But basically, so I want to put little Miss Laura into a dress. And I'm looking for a diaper for her, which I should have took it out before I started the video. But as I always say, I always forget something. So I'm going to put the camera more to her side if it'll cooperate with me so that I can change her first. So I'm going to just put this diaper on her. This is one of those Eco Natty diapers. And as I said, she is the Laura by Bonnie Brown. And I call her Laura Bell, my little Laura Bell. That is what I named her. And she's actually named after Belle, Laura Bell, one of my aunts. It was my great aunt, my mother's aunt. And that is who I named her after because I wanted to keep the first name Laura and just add a middle name that would go with Laura. And my aunt came to mind at the time when I named this baby. Um, I believe this baby, I made her like, a year ago in 2023 like about a year prior to now i'm thinking or is it two years these years been going by so fast i can't keep track it seemed like it's a year but i could be mistaken i would have to look back through my videos and see it could be two years i don't know I know it was right after Christmas. It was like January or something because I was trying to finish her for Christmas and I ended up finishing her right after Christmas or something like that. I don't know, but I haven't had her that long in my collection, <laughs> but for me, it's long. Let me put it that way. So I'm going to put this dress on her. It is pink and white, a baby pink, pastel pink with white. It's the bodice is knit with a little pink bow. And then the bottom of it, I guess this would be a cotton with these rows of ruffles going down the middle. And then 
it has buttons all down the back and it's like i guess what you would call a shirt dress style with long sleeves the sleeves are also knit and then i'm going to put it with these cute little tights they are baby pink they match the dress perfectly but they didn't come together and the tights have this these cute little ruffles lacy ruffles three rows of them on the back of the tights and then I think I'm going to use this bow. It's like a flower pastel pink or headband. And then, or this one, it's pink. Um, just a regular bow with the like frayed edges. I don't know what you would call those, those edges, but that's how that bow was made. So that's what she's going to put on. We're going to try this on her. Um, if it doesn't fit correctly, then I also have out this Jacquerie Velour sleeper footed with the little Liberty print collar, the scallop collar, I think that is, or petal neck collar, actually. And it has the little diaper flap in the back of this one also, like the one I put on Layla the other night with the little diaper flap. If this doesn't work, I might try that. What made me not try the sleeper is because the Laura Sculpt, as you guys know, has these really froggy legs and certain stuff like sleepers, they will tend to like her legs pulls it and makes it gap. But that sleeper could work for her because it doesn't have snaps or anything down the front. So possibly she could wear that little set. But we're going to try to dress first. So my little Laura here, I love this baby. Love her skin tone and everything, how she came out. I really wanted her in my collection. At the time when I got her, I pre-ordered her. Um, and I didn't know much about the sculpt. That's the funniest thing when I pre-ordered it. I didn't know like that she was a portrait baby and everything of a very well-known artist in the community. I didn't know any of that when I ordered her, but I just fell in love with the sculpt, the kit, as soon as I seen it. And I was on McPherson's, and it was on pre-order at the time, and I just ordered it, not even knowing, you know, what I was ordering. Because, like I always say, I paint vinyl reborns. I've been painting them since 2017 but my first love and choice is usually silicone so i am not i was not at the time really in to the vinyl dolls the vinyl reborn so when i ordered her i just ordered her because i love how you know how she looked how the scope looked and that's all i knew i went by basically ordered what I love and that's what I do a lot of times with dolls it's not so much like oh what sculpt is it it's more like if that doll catches my eye and it pulls at my heartstrings I'll just order it basically that's how it goes <laughs> so that's how I went with little Laura and then after I ordered her and everybody started getting theirs that's when I knew oh this doll is you know like a really special addition it's of, you know, a portrait baby of someone's real baby, a, you know, a very popular, well-known artist in our community. And I was like, oh, I got, you know, a special, a special baby here. I didn't even know it at the time, but I was happy. After I ordered her, I was so happy that I did order her. So... I love to look at the diapers in the back to see how it fits the baby. <laughs> I love taking pictures of them a lot of times in their diapers and take the back of them, like them laying on their tummy. So I always like to check to see how the diaper fits actually from the back of the diaper and not the front of it. But anywho, so as I painted her, finished her, rooted her and everything and i named her after my great aunt as i told you that aunt is the those of you who were following me at the time 
and you heard the whole story of this baby being named after my great aunt Laura, Laura Bell. Bell was her middle name. And Bell means beautiful or beauty. So I just felt like that name fit the baby at the time when I was naming her. And also that aunt was special because she had polio as a child. So she was always um, growing up. She was my aunt that couldn't walk. She was crippled. And though although she was crippled, she took care of all of us. <laughs> She could cook and do everything. And so she was just really special and strong, a strong lady. And also my mother's mother, my grandmother, the same for her. They were just really strong women, strong-willed women that I looked up to, grew up with, learned so much from. And my, my Aunt Laura Bell, she... Her and my grandmother, my mother's mother, marched on Washington with Martin Luther King, as I said, when I was telling about picking her name, Laura Bell, and I had told that whole story. So this baby was really special. And then for me, and then also um, I picked a special name for her from a family member. And so, yeah, and I thought of all of that this month being that before this month ends, being that it is Black History Month, I figured I would mention that again. And I also wanted to make sure that I changed Little Miss Laura Bell. I need to do the back of her hair. So I'm going to just turn her over. And I'm going to unbutton this because it's not fitting her with the, with the buttons buttoned. So I guess I have to button everything back up. But yes, I wanted to mention that during this month with my little Laura here and the significance of the name I picked for her and the aunt that marched with Martin Luther King on Washington. And I'm not sure what year it was, but I know it was a long time ago. That's all I know. It had to be because they marched with Martin Luther King. And my Aunt Laura, as I said, was crippled. So she marched on crutches because she, she would be in a wheelchair sometimes, but she also could, you know, she also used crutches. And she managed to march with Martin Luther King and she couldn't even walk. You know, so I mean, that's what you call a strong, determined, strong-willed person to do all of that. And then years later, when I was 14, me and my cousin, one of my other cousins that I was really close to, we were close growing up, first cousins, we were like sisters. My grandmother, my mother's mother, the same grandmother, then took me and my cousin one year to Washington, D.C., and me and my cousin marched with my grandmother again on Washington, and I believe it was Martin Luther King's birthday that year. I was 14, and we went with my grandmother. She was at that time in her 80s, I'm sure, by the time I was 14, way up in her 80s, and she still could walk around, get around, and we marched on Washington with my grandmother. So those are the type of ladies I grew up with, and my mother was definitely the same way as her aunt, you know, her aunt and her mom, very determined, strong-willed, always, you know, doing something to help out the community, or like she, my mother would go around and uh, register people to vote to make sure people got out and voted um, in the neighborhood we were living in. When I was a kid, she would do fundraisers in the neighborhood to get gifts for kids for Christmas, for underprivileged families. Like my mother was just always doing something, thinking of her. And the ironic thing is after I painted this baby, Laura here, 
I never noticed it when I first painted her and I had, you know, I did the video with her. I named her after my Aunt Laura, my mother's aunt. I never noticed how much this baby looks like my mother. That was the strangest thing. One day I was just looking at her and I was like, why, why does this baby look like so familiar like what is she, who is she reminding me of and as i kept looking at her little face and her hair i was like oh my gosh she looks just like my mother so this baby is like a keeper definitely a keeper for me and just really special um what reminds me is like why she looks like my mother this her skin tone and her hair color um and the thing about it i don't want to creep anyone out but she actually looks like my mother after my mother passed away yeah so a lot of times i will come in the nursery and just stare at this baby like she just catches my eye and i will just like i have to just look at her and she has to be somewhere in my nursery where i can see her like, I don't put her where I can't actually see her. She has to be where I can see her. So, I hope that's not too creepy for anybody. But that's what she... She doesn't remind me of my mother when my mother was actually living. She reminds me of my mother after she passed away. But it doesn't bother me. It actually makes me want to look at her. She, she actually draws me to her more because she looks like my mother so much. So that's what I wanted to share. I hope I didn't run anybody away from the video. <laughs> but yes, so that is little Miss Laura Bell, her story and why she's so special to me. That is her dress. She actually fits this dress really perfectly. So many times I was going to sell this dress. I think I even had it up for sale and I never sold it. And now I'm glad I didn't. That's the, the little ruffly tights those are so cute they came in my gift my happy mail from claudia o'neill and they are the really nice tights like they are really they fit nice and the material is nice okay so now what i didn't do is put her headband on i actually like her hair without the headband but we gonna put a headband and that's the only thing when i put the babies this way so I'm trying to let you guys see their faces when I put the camera like this, this angle, but then you can't see it if their head is not propped up enough on these pillows. And this is how she looks with a pacifier. But most of the time, I don't really put a pacifier on her. I kind of like to see her lips. And this one is kind of too high i'm thinking all of my baby's magnets are moving <laughs> like because i remember this pacifier fit her exact now it looks like it's too high but i don't really put a pacifier on her lips because i like the color of them so we're gonna try on one of these pink headbands so she can have the complete look with her little dress. The only thing I didn't put on her is shoes. And I don't know what shoes I would put with this. So I didn't pick out any shoes. She's going to just have on her tights. And that's the headband. I think I will leave this one. And I don't change this little girl a lot. She gets changed every now and again. But I love the baby. So I have to start changing her more. More often. Even him. I love Levi. He doesn't get changed a lot either. Um, I changed him. Like at the beginning of this month. So for him. He's getting changed again. It's like rare. That he would get changed this quickly again. Because normally. He gets changed very little. Which most of my vinyl reborns don't get changed a whole lot. But I don't think he gets changed hardly at all since I've painted him. And I wanted him in my collection so badly. But then I hardly changed him since I actually painted him. 
and I don't know how long ago I painted him, but it wasn't that long either. All right, so now we're going to get to this little boy. So I hope all of you are having a nice week so far. It's, this is, what, Tuesday evening I'm doing this video. And happy Black History Month. If I did not say that while I was talking about my little Laura. That is why I thought to change her before the month was out. I definitely wanted to change her. And then I said, okay, I might as well change the both of them together. Since they are my two Bonnie Brown babies. Let's see his diaper. I didn't bring him a diaper either. Of course I didn't. He actually doesn't need his diaper changed because I had just changed him, like I said. But we will change it anyway if I could find him a diaper, that is. Because I'm going in the diapers that are right here by the changing table. This one is kind of big, but we're going to put this one on him. It's the same one, similar to what I just took off of her. We're going to put one on him. And they are a size one, but normally he wears a newborn, but he can wear a size one diaper too. So, I have been ordering dolls, you guys. <laughs> like blank dolls um and as you guys know i paint my own dolls for my own collection most of the time my reborns and my silicone sometimes i will paint myself but i paint slow so i'm like i'm ordering all of these kits and when am i gonna finish painting them then you know i watch my grandbaby a lot so then i have to like squeeze my paint time in to get to paint while like on the days or whatever little time I have when I'm not watching her. My little Allura, my grandbaby, she is now 10 months old. She just turned 10 months. So she will soon be a year old, you guys, in April. I can't believe it. The year went by so fast. Um, but yeah. She's doing well. I haven't did an update on her in a while. So he's going to get this lion shirt. It's by Next Baby. It's gold with a big lion face on the front. And these cute little gray pants with lions on the bottom of the legs. And they kind of fold down at the waist. And he's going to get these little gold socks that go with it. So, yeah, she will be a year. We are planning her first birthday celebration because before you know it, it'll be April. <laughs> so, we are starting to try to start planning it now ahead of time, figuring out what we're going to do for her. And she is getting so big. She is so smart and so just adorable and so happy. And now she learned how to dance, you guys. She can't walk yet, but she could dance. <laughs> she bobs her little head to the music. Any music she hears, she starts dancing. Now she knows how to like tilt her head from side to side, bob her head when she's dancing like throwing up her little arms in the air is so cute <laughs> it is so cute but yeah she's doing really well for those of you who were wondering how she's doing some of you ask me still how she's doing and i appreciate that but she's doing really well thank god from her little tiny self when she was born at two pounds and nine ounces and now she's over 20 pounds at this point and she's like 26 inches or something like that i have to check it but she's not that long though considering i think she's chubbier more so than being like tall she's probably going to be short and she still has little feet <laughs> 
her little feet are so small. She still could wear like three month size baby shoes. If you see shoes that are zero to three months, she can still fit those shoes. That's how little her feet are. She has the teeniest little feet. So these little pants almost do not fit this little Levi. Although he looks so small, these pants are, what size are these pants? This little outfit. I'm thinking is a up to one month. That's usually what I get. Yeah, next up to one month which is supposed to be a little bigger than a newborn but those pants barely he barely can fit them but we gonna leave them on him and i've had this outfit so long i think i tried to sell this too and it never sold so i still have it i've sold so much of my baby clothes but yet i still have so many clothes i don't understand it looks like when I look at my clothes, like I didn't sell anything. That's how much clothes I still have. That's why I haven't really been buying a lot of clothes. Because I've been looking in the clothes I have when I get ready to dress my babies. And I just pick from what I have. Because it's ridiculous the amount of clothes that I sold and the, the amount that I still have. It's crazy. Now, he has on this long sleeve t-shirt and it's going to get on my nerves because it keeps the sleeves is way up his arm. It won't come down. I'm going to just leave it. So anyway, as I was saying, I've been ordering dolls. I know one is supposed to get here by next week. I ordered one silicone doll. A little different than what I normally get. You guys will see. When that doll comes, I will do a box opening. And then, what else? I I have a pre-order of a pickle. But that doll, as you guys know, is out of stock. So, I'm still waiting on my pickle. And I'm like, I paint so slow, as I was saying. When am I going to fit in the paint, paint all of these dolls? And then, the pickle is so big. Oh, my gosh. I wonder how long is it going to take me to paint her? And then working with these new paints, I'm not, I'm still not used to using them. The paints, I, I'm, I have my Genesis heat set paints. I'm still using those. So that's not the problem. The problem for me is the finish, the matte. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's like, you don't know what you're going to come out with when you matte the doll until it's all finished. And then you see how it look. Anyway, that's how it is for me. I don't, it's like a surprise. If I like it when it's finished, I'm happy, but I'm like, okay, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to try that one. It's a few different brands out there of matte finishes, matte varnishes, heat set. And so, and all of them are slightly different. They're slightly different from the Genesis one that I was used to using that we were all used to using. So I really don't, like, I haven't mastered that matte yet. I just haven't mastered it yet. <laughs> so when I'm using it, I don't know how the doll is going to look when it's all finished. It's it's like a mystery at this point when I use that. Um, I'm painting a doll right now. I'm almost finished. I've been painting her, it seems like, forever. Finally, I'm almost finished with her. So probably tomorrow, I'm going to start matting her and I'm afraid... <laughs> I'm afraid. I just hope I don't mess up my doll after all the time I took to paint her. Now I'm about to mat her and I'm like, I hope she comes out correctly. And the mat that I have, I ordered. The person that I ordered it from, I've ordered from them before. They seem to be a pretty, you know, upstanding seller. They saying that the mat they sold me is from the original Genesis heat set um, mix of matte varnish. So I'm like, how do they still have that? Like, where'd they get it from? How do they have it this long? I thought everybody ran out of that by now. But I took a chance. I bought it. It cost me so much to get it. And I'm just hoping it's the right thing and that it's truly genesis heat set matte 
but it looks like it when i look at it it does look like the original genesis so i'm gonna see when i use it, it you know where they telling the truth i don't know how they still have it but they still have it and they sent it right out to me when i paid for it no problem and i even asked them you know is it fresh is it still good i was asking all of these questions I was so nervous to pay as much as I paid for it and get it and it ain't no good. But I got it. I opened it. It looks like it's actually the original Genesis varnish and it looks like it's still fresh. So I'm going to try it tomorrow on my doll. And I just hope that she comes out right after I took all this time painting her. And she's a little itty bitty baby. Because now I'm kind of wanting little babies in my collection again. For a while, I didn't want, like, especially not preemie after my granddaughter was born, a premature baby. And all of this stuff you go through with a preemie, you know, I didn't even want the preemies I had after my granddaughter was born. But now I'm starting to get over it. She's doing good. You know, we got through all of that, thank God. So I'm wanting to have smaller dolls in my collection, like small newborn size dolls. And I'm interested in preemies again. Like I do want to have a few preemies in my collection. So that is what I'm wanting. But definitely Pickle is no preemie. <laughs> that baby is so big. Wish me luck with trying to paint her whenever they actually ship her. Um, I think they said March they would be getting them in stock. That's the last thing I read on it. I have not checked to see if there's any new updates on Pickle, but I think it said March. So I'm looking forward to finally getting Pickle. But I'm hoping I could paint her and it won't take me forever. And I don't even know can that doll fit in the regular new wave oven I have. Because I don't normally paint dolls that big. The biggest doll I've painted was my Gabby Gales. And they fit in the regular, new, you know, size new wave, of, new wave oven. But I don't know about that pickle. Can she even fit in there? Okay, his pasty still fits the right spot on his face. But again, I love the Levi lip. So most of the time, he does not get a pacifier either. It just kind of sits near him. Or I'll take a picture with him with his little pacifier. So anyway, guys, that is my baby. That's little Miss Laura sitting over there. And... I'm also painting, I just started though, painting my um, Benjamin, and she is also a big chunky baby, and I just started painting her, so I haven't gotten much done yet on her. I'm trying not to show you guys my messy closet. I need to clean up my closet. There it is. I haven't done anything to it at all. <laughs> it, need, it needs some work. I'm going to eventually try to straighten it up more. But anyway, there's my babies for this video. I call him Micah Levi or Levi Micah. And then, as I said, she is Laura Bell. Both painted and muted by me. So, yeah, I am... Working on Benjamin now, just started, haven't done much to her. And then, I, like I said, I'm finishing up my other little baby that I've been working on forever. So I will show you guys her once she's all done as well. I'm trying to figure out if I'm going to root her also before I shear her or if I'm going to just shear her and then root her afterwards. I will figure it out. And that is about it. And I also pre-ordered another baby last night, I was saying. Yeah. Didn't even plan on pre-ordering that baby. Again, I was on McPherson's and I just seen it and I was like, okay, I'm going I'm to order this one. So, yeah. Still buying babies to add to my own collection. 
I have not picked out a baby yet for my upcoming giveaway when I hit that 5,000 subscribers. As I said, please subscribe so you can help me get to the 5,000 subscribers where at that time I will be giving away a vinyl reborn or painted by me coming home with a box opening and I will be paying for the shipping and everything. So it will be completely a gift. So make sure you are subscribed to my channel. So at that time, if you want to enter that giveaway, you can enter. And that is all for this video. Please like and comment below. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. I don't know, can I get both of them in this before I click off? See you guys later. Take care.